Hi guys, we are from DK Car Club. Today we will talk about the fuel pressure regulator, FPR. Hey guys, I am the fuel pressure regulator. Yes, that's me. I am usually located at the end of the fuel rail. I maintain a constant pressure across the fuel injectors. As the fuel injectors are connected to the fuel rail and to the intake manifold, so am I. Let me simplify it more. I measure the fuel pressure in the fuel rail and the air pressure in the intake manifold. Then I keep the fuel pressure above the air pressure, usually 40 psi, in order to supply a constant amount of fuel pressure to the fuel injectors all the time. Let me explain with an example. As an example, if the fuel pressure of the fuel rail is 50 psi and the air pressure in the intake manifold is 10 psi, I maintain the differential pressure of 40 psi. Let's say the fuel rail pressure rises to 60 psi, then I return some fuel to the tank until it drops to 50 psi in order to maintain the differential pressure of 40 psi. These pressure values in the intake manifold and the fuel rail are infinitely changing but I maintain the differential pressure constant at 40 psi. Fuel pressure from the fuel pump is always higher than the demand. When the previously described differential pressure is correct or low, the valve is kept closed. The pressure from the intake manifold supports or resists the spring force to control the diaphragm. When the differential pressure is high, the diaphragm moves up and opens the valve allowing excess fuel to return to the fuel tank until the differential pressure drops to the correct value. That's all about the fuel pressure regulator. If you have more info, please comment below. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.